What's up guys, thanks for joining me today. Welcome to the launch of Tesla Truck Vids. I am so excited. I've been following the Tesla Cybertruck project since the semi event, the Tesla semi event. And I am just over the moon excited about it, no pun intended. Um, this is something that is gonna be huge for the world. It's gonna impact things on a global level. Pickup trucks, especially here in the United States, are gigantic, people use them literally all over the world. It is going to make a gigantic splash into the pickup truck market. One of the reasons that I'm so excited about it is I've been a daily pickup truck driver for the last about 16 years, ever since I got my license at 16. I'm 32 now. I had a car for a little bit there, uh, but other than that, for uh, basically 16 years, I've driven a pickup truck. They've all been Chevy Silverados. I've had a couple of diesels. I've had a couple of gas jobs. And I'm just excited for the electric vehicle revolution to be here with pickup trucks because I love diesels. I love gas motors. They're fun. In high school, I did a lot of automotive work. Working on cars when I was young, I was broke and I had these old uh, pieces of junk. I had to do a lot of the work on them myself. And there's just so many things that come with owning a fossil fuel vehicle. And I'm all about, you know, helping the environment and the planet and all that. But I'm not jumping into the EV space because, you know, I want to save the turtles, which I do. But that's just, that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because for someone like me who does between 15 and 25,000 miles a year, depending on, you know, what my work looks like for that year. Uh, all the maintenance, all the fuel costs, everything that comes along with this, all the problems that you have on a fossil fuel vehicle, a lot of those just don't exist in the EV space. So super, super excited about it. No more oil changes, no more head gaskets, no more fuel injector problems. Uh, I have a Chevy Silverado. It's a 2016. We're actually going to take a look at it in a couple minutes. It's a 2016 Chevy Silverado LTZ. And it's my dream truck. Uh, it's the second LTZ crew cab that I've owned and I love it. It has been nothing but problems since I bought it. Certified pre-owned, it's been back to the dealer multiple times for multiple different issues. I'm gonna talk a little bit about those once we go outside and check that out. I recorded that portion earlier today while it was still light out. So I already recorded that, but we're gonna play it at the end of the video as kind of a walkthrough and a comparison on what a modern day, you know, it's a 2016, it's a Chevy Silverado LTZ. So it's one of the top tier trim packages that you're going to find uh, in the American truck market. You know, it's got leather seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel, uh, you know, the fancy power mirrors and rear view mirror and Apple CarPlay and a lot of really cool stuff that you don't find in your base model trucks. And I want to talk about that. So we're going to go outside and talk about that in a minute. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about on this video, and I'm so excited because it's like Christmas Eve if you're a Tesla fan. The Tesla Cybertruck launch is tomorrow. I'm recording this. Uh, it's about 10 p.m. on November 20th, 2019. So tomorrow afternoon or whatever the event is, I don't even know the time. I should know that, but I don't. Uh, it's it's going to be like opening presents. We're going to find out what it looks like. The capabilities, the handling, all the cool facts about it. We know it's going to be packed with all sorts of just crazy, life-changing, absolutely stunning features. One of the biggest reasons I'm such a huge supporter of Elon Musk and Tesla and what they're doing over there is that Elon Musk builds spaceships. So just all the innovation they have to do to put into spaceships being able to bring that into a truck, into a car, into an SUV is just so cool. Uh, so that being said, I want to make a couple of predictions before the launch. And these are a couple of things that I'm not really hearing anybody else talk about in anticipation to the launch. And I watch a lot of YouTube videos on this. All the other YouTube video uh, makers out there, content creators, Thank you so much for what you guys have been doing, talking about it, putting up 
you know, these different drawings and sketches and talking about what you think is coming with the Cybertruck. And I think most of them are all completely wrong. So super excited to talk about these couple of predictions. And I could be right, which is cool. I could be completely wrong, which is totally fine. I promise I'm not gonna take this video down if I end up being completely wrong. This is just for fun and it's just a guess, but it's what I've observed over the last year or so. Uh, and Tesla and Elon hasn't really released a whole lot about the truck, but there are a couple of just points that I wanna talk about real quick that I think are just gonna blow your mind and I haven't heard really anybody else talk about them before. The first one is this picture right here. Hopefully I can figure out how to put the picture right here. This picture right here of the Tesla truck. This is what Tesla released as the only teaser picture for the Tesla truck and we all know it, we've all seen it. It's the light bar with the very the dark uh, truck and you can almost see nothing. Now, almost everybody says, I literally haven't heard a single person say otherwise, that that is the front end of the truck. Those are the headlights, and that's what the front of the truck is going to look like. I have a much different opinion. After watching the Tesla Semi event, after listening to some of the things and looking at some of the things that are going on with the Semi truck, uh, there's a video, a great video of a guy finding a semi truck in a parking lot where he's walking around it, looking at the back of the semi truck with that big solid light bar, that rear end almost looks like a, an older Lamborghini rear end, but with that modern bar all the way across, I believe, and this is my prediction and I could be wrong, I believe that that picture that they released of the light bar on the truck, I think that is the rear of the truck because it's squared off, I think that's a reverse light, and I think that is the cover, uh, like a tonneau cover, on the bed of the truck. I believe the front of the truck is gonna be super aerodynamic, it's gonna have kind of that bullet shape, like the, the Tesla Semi, like the Model 3. Everything that Tesla does is super aerodynamic. I don't see them changing directions and making the front of the truck just a square edge coming up to that square edge on the hood with the light bar, I really believe that that is the back of the truck. So that's my prediction. I haven't heard anybody else talk about that. And I'm, I've just had to get it out to you guys because I've been talking to my friends about it and everybody I talk to about it and I show them the picture of the back of the Tesla Semi. They're like, you know what? That kind of makes sense. It's not aerodynamic and it, it looks like the rear of the truck to me. So Super excited to see what's gonna happen with that. Another thing I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about is the main competition, uh, well, let me correct that. A lot of people are talking about it. I haven't heard anybody talk about it like this. The main competition to the Tesla Cybertruck, a lot of people say is like the F-150 and the Chevy 1500 or maybe the 2500 or an F-250 and I don't believe that's true at all. I believe Elon is always looking to take down the very top dog, the very top of the performance market, you know, not be able to have some, or, so someone can't say, well, I'm gonna buy this other truck because it does this better. I think he's gonna cross all the T's and dot all the I's on making it literally anything else look like a stupid option. I really believe that's how it's gonna be. And I believe the main Competition for the Tesla Cybertruck is, hear me out, because I'm not even a Ford fan, but I believe it's the Ford Raptor. As far as its off-road capabilities, it's almost 500 horsepower, around 500 foot-pounds of torque. Um, and I, I just really think that that is one of the trucks that he is gonna highlight in the presentation to talk about the comparison of some of the capabilities of this truck. I believe that it's going to be much more refined uh, than something like a Ford Raptor. I've sat in a Ford Raptor. They're very rough around the edges on the interior. You know, cloth seats, they're made to kind of be a uh, store-bought off-road, you know, trophy truck or rally truck. I believe that the Tesla Cybertruck is going to have those, you know, off-road and rally and power and four-wheeling capabilities, but with the refinement of something more like the Limited Series or 
you know, the High Country series on the Chevys or something a little more refined. I think we're still going to see 20 inch rims or even bigger. Uh, I believe that uh, obviously self driving is going to be, uh, you know, a main tech focal point of this truck, but I think there's going to be a lot of innovative features packed into this truck that we can't even imagine at this point that we're going to find out about tomorrow. And obviously technology wise, uh, like you're going to see here in a minute with my Chevy that's out in the driveway, we're going to go check out as far as the tech features that that truck has. And I say it in that video too. Uh, it makes my $40,000 2016 beautiful Silverado truck that I love look like an old rotary phone. And the Tesla Cybertruck is like an iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, technology wise, it's just going to blow it absolutely out of the water. So I'm so excited. So those are my two big predictions, guys. That picture uh, that we all see out there that Tesla uh, leaked, it, or they didn't leak it, they just posted it. But the one picture that they posted about the Cybertruck, I think that is the rear of the truck. I also think that the big truck that uh, Elon is going to compare the Tesla semi-truck to, capability-wise, to the consumer market is going to be along the lines of the Ford Raptor or maybe even exactly the Ford Raptor. So I know they're, you know, big 3,500 diesel dualies and stuff like that. Maybe that's going to be it. Maybe it's going to have the capability of a quad cab 3,500 diesel dually, you know, Ford or Chevy pickup. Um, you notice I don't really talk about Dodges because it's not even the Dodge truck. It's the Ram truck and they don't even have close to the market share that Chevy and um, GM and Ford have. So GM's like 17% market share of the truck market and Ford I think is 14%. Um, so I could be wrong about the Dodge percentage wise, but I don't know. I honestly think that Tesla is gonna overtake GM, Ford, and Daimler Chrysler, who owns Ram, uh, I believe it's going to be bigger than all of those market shares put together, which I believe would make them about 40% market share. They just launched that new factory in China. They're about to launch the new factory in Germany. Now they're making them, you know, like, like hotcakes in the United States. And I just think that it's going to turn into this gigantic global brand that is going to overtake literally every other car company. So that's my prediction. Again, I'm not an electric vehicle guy because, you know, I want to be Captain Planet and stuff like that. I think that's a great side effect, but I think the innovation of the technology just makes it a better tool. It makes it a better product. And that's what's awesome about the free market and what Elon is doing and everyone over at Tesla and SpaceX and all that. I'm just absolutely so pumped about what all those guys are doing over at that company. If anyone from the company is watching this, you guys rock and keep doing what you're doing. Super excited for the launch tomorrow. I have to try to get some sleep tonight. Uh, like I said, it's about 10 o'clock the night before the launch. So I'm going to put out this video tonight so that it's time stamped. It's there. I have my, my predictions out before the actual event tomorrow. So uh, with that being said, we're going to take a step outside. I recorded this earlier, but it's dark out now. We're going to take a step outside. We're going to look at my 2016 uh, Chevy Silverado LTZ. It's a crew cab, black on black. It was literally my dream truck for a long time. I had a 2012. That was almost the same thing before that. And I love them. I love Chevys. They're great trucks. I tell everyone I love Chevys. I hate Chevy dealerships. Every Chevy dealership I've had a horrible time with. They're all terrible. So that's another big thing. I'm really excited to switch over from Chevy to Tesla to never have to deal with a Chevy dealership again. Hallelujah. So we're going to go outside. We're going to look at some of the tech features that this 2016 Silverado has. And we're also going to look at what it doesn't have and some of the things that might be coming with the Tesla truck. So I'm just super excited to launch this channel. I'm really passionate about this. I'm hoping if you're watching this that you're really passionate about it too. And we'll get to learn about this stuff together. I'm going to make a follow-up video after the launch. And then as time goes on, uh, you know, we'll talk more about the trucks. Maybe we'll get to take a peek at one when they come out. Maybe somebody will order one at some point and I'll actually have one in my driveway that we can go take a look at together. 
Uh, there's a Tesla store uh, in Worcester, Massachusetts. It's about two hours from here. So I'm hoping over the next uh, couple of months or so to get down there, maybe do a little bit of filming, talk to some of those guys. I do have a friend of a friend that owns a Model 3 as well. So I'd love to, uh, he's the one who kind of turned me on to Tesla and got me checking it out. So maybe we'll get a chance to uh, meet him, go for a ride in his Model 3, check out some of the features, talk about the truck, what's exciting. And it's awesome, guys. So I'm going to wrap that up right there. Uh, you don't have to do anything. We're just going to, the video is going to go to me outside with the truck. But please share, like, subscribe. That really helps. And uh, this was awesome, guys. I'm super excited to, you know, be, uh, be here with you guys doing this together. So I didn't even really say it in the beginning, but my name's Jordan Keto, and this is Tesla Truck Vids with a Z. And it's going to be awesome. So keep an eye out for more videos. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that great stuff. You beautiful people have an awesome day and enjoy the, the Tesla Cyber Truck launch tomorrow. Chances are, if you're watching this, it's already past the event, but maybe you'll be able to look at my predictions and see if I was right. Who knows? If I'm right, then uh, I'll have an extra shot of tequila for you guys. So uh, have a great night, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time. All right, guys. So we're out here taking a look at a 2016 Chevy Silverado LTZ. This is the uh, top trim package other than the high country and some of the super fancy ones, but... On the outside, we got chrome everywhere, chrome, chrome, chrome. Front end is completely chrome, which I absolutely love. That was one of the reasons I bought this truck. 20-inch um, chrome wheels, which is great. Step bars do not come standard, but had them put on at the dealership. You can see this is a work truck. This is my trailer. Uh, I am a farrier by day. Bonus points if you know what that is. If you don't know, you can look it up. LTZ trim package, Silverado, got it from Bank Chevrolet. They've been meh. This truck's been back to the dealership a whole bunch of times. Bed liner, this is, it's not the short, short bed, but it's, and I think it's the five and three quarter. Check out the back seat real quick. Chrome door handles, pretty nice. Fit and finish is good. Um, a lot of chrome on the inside, a lot of wood. This is the back seat. It's pretty roomy. It's got the electronic rear window. Obviously, it's electronic everything. Um, being an LTZ and a 2016 at all. Mirrors fold in, which is nice, so people aren't elbowing them. Again, the truck's a little dirty, guys. But we'll just go over some of the, the tech features real quick on this thing. And it's going to be a short list because it's not very much. Um, this seat creaks every time I take corners and every time I get in and out of it because I think some large person owned this before me. Um, we got the old school dash. It does have a little graphic up there, which you can change, but uh, pretty minimal, super dusty. I need to get this thing cleaned, but Apple CarPlay, which is one of the biggest reasons I wanted this truck. Um, my last truck didn't have it, and just having to have your phone up on the dash for maps and stuff is awful. I could put Waze right on this, but... I think with the Tesla truck, the Apple CarPlay isn't going to be needed with the Tesla navigation. We've got all sorts of uh, power down here. we got an actual 110 plug. we got another 12 volt and some USBs, which is great. Heated seats. This does not have the AC seats. I used to have a 2012. It had air conditioned seats, which was nice. Uh, and it's also got a heated steering wheel, which is really great, especially on days like today. It's about 35 and pretty crappy and rainy out, as you can see. Uh, let's see in here. We got another another 12 volt in there. We got some more USBs and a headphone jack right there, which is pretty cool. Uh, front and rear parking sensors. It has a backup camera, um, bed light, traction control, uh, moving the pedals. It's got the uh, digital uh, thermostat in there, which is pretty cool, but that's about it for an almost $55,000 truck, brand new. Um, I bought this used for about $40,000. Uh, that's all of the tech features in this truck. So I really truly believe that the Tesla truck, well, I know that the Tesla truck is going to blow something like this out of the water. And like I mentioned in the video earlier, People are kind of saying what the Tesla truck is going to mainly compete with. And 
yes, obviously it's going to compete with trucks like this, you know, a work truck, whether you're a carpenter, an electrician, or, you know, out on the road, whatever you're doing. Um, but I think, like I said earlier in the video, I think the biggest competition that the Tesla Cybertruck is going to have is the Ford Raptor. I think it's going to be more capable than the Ford Raptor. It's going to be faster than the Ford Raptor. Just doing a little walk around here. Um, this truck, brand new, top of the line, three years ago, so in 2016. This is like a rotary phone compared to any of the Teslas that are out today. It's like a rotary phone compared to a brand new iPhone in features. It's just, just doesn't compete. Um, it's, it's an absolute game changer. It's, it's a big, big jump in technology. Uh, sunglasses holder up here. Pretty cool, you know, but that took a lot of work, I'm sure. They got some uh, sunroof buttons, a sliding back window back there, which is a really nice feature. It actually creates a breeze from the back of the truck coming to the front, so that's pretty nice. Love the sunroof, makes it bright and airy. I have a feeling the Tesla truck windshield is just gonna come all the way up over and back. Now the one thing, there's one thing that I'm concerned about with the Tesla truck where it's not gonna compete with a truck like this, and that is the sound system. This is a killer Bose sound system. Uh, it's got pretty big speakers up front, speakers in the door. This does not have the subwoofer in the center console, but it still rips. Speakers in the back. Um, I don't know exactly how many speakers it has, but I thought about putting the subwoofer in the center console, but I think it's gonna be hundreds of dollars and probably you know, it'll make a, a difference, but um, I'm hopefully going to be selling this truck and getting the, getting the cyber truck when it comes out. So I'd like to be hopefully one of the first people to pre-order. That's the plan. And I really want to be able to do a kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. So we walked through most of the features. Um, another cool feature on this truck is that that license plate never light never works. And that one, I have to smack it to get it to come on sometimes so that's fun i have to worry about getting you know pulled over all the time because gm's been so awesome with their electronic work this is going into the shop for a transmission sensor it's having all sorts of fuel issues um getting misfire codes and then the dealership tells me that they don't exist even though they came up in my code reader this thing right here is super cool blue driver it's a bluetooth obd2 reader and scanner and it goes right to your phone which is great so again guys this is a beautiful truck i absolutely love it i mean this was my this was my dream truck for a long time before this i had a 2012 black on black crew cab ltz and i think the tesla truck is just going to absolutely destroy this truck the f-150 platinum uh, i don't even know what dodge's trim package is because I just don't like Dodges, but that trailer weighs probably 3,000 pounds. It's not super heavy, so I could even pull that trailer with a Model X. But we get a lot of weather up here in New England. I go in and out of barns all the time where it's pretty muddy and slushy in some areas. And I just couldn't, couldn't daily pull that trailer, I don't think, with the Model X. I'm sure it would do it, um, but I just I want something bigger. I spend a lot of time in the truck. I think as long as the Tesla truck has about a 500 mile range, that'll be great. Uh, I try not to drive more than that anyway on any given day. My average day is probably maybe about 200 miles when I'm out working. Yesterday, you know, I spent about three hours on the road going from appointment to appointment to appointment. You guys can see my license plate, I don't care. Everyone and their brother can see it when I'm driving down the street. So, you know, this is a sharp truck. It's pretty dirty right now. These rooms are pretty awesome. Um, yeah, bed liner. I think the Tesla truck is going to have a gigantic bed and I think it's going to have an automatic cover. And like I said in the video earlier, I think everybody, every single person that shows the leaked picture, not the leaked picture, but you know, the picture of the light bar, I'll probably flash it on the screen. Uh, the picture of the light bar on the, the Tesla cyber truck that Tesla released everybody says it's the front. I think that's baloney. I think that picture is the rear of the truck. If you look at the 
the rear of the Tesla Semi. It's got that light bar all the way across and the rear end of the Tesla Semi looks like a, an old school Lamborghini uh, kind of mixed with some modern stuff. So I think that picture of the light bar that everyone's saying is the front end of the Cybertruck, I really think that that is the back and that there's gonna be a Tesla logo right there. And then that slope up that you see is going to be um, the cover for the bed. So that's just one of my predictions. Uh, I think I think people are pretty wrong about that. So my roommate Chris, he's got the uh, three series BMW down there. Uh, he doesn't, you know, he works from home most of the time. So I think he's gonna get a model three. And then my girlfriend's looking at the Model X because she loves SUVs. So I just think it's so cool to have the electric motors, no oil, no head gaskets, no valve covers, uh, none of the stupid stuff that you have to do for maintenance all the time on these trucks. I'm having fuel injector issues, I think. I don't even know if that's really what it is, is the fuel injectors. But to be able to come home after a day of work, unhook the trailer, Put the truck in the garage and plug it in if it'll fit in this garage but come home plug in your truck wake up in the morning and you literally have a full tank of gas uh it, well a full tank of electricity but i just think that's absolutely amazing so super pumped i've been a truck guy my whole life i think this is my i think seventh or eighth chevy i used to have a 6.5 turbo diesel i had a 6.6 turbo diesel uh, i've had a couple of five threes um, this is my second Again, crew cab, black on black, LTZ. Sorry if I'm shaking a little bit. It is freezing out here. Uh, it's just above freezing. I'm actually surprised that it's not snowing. So just one more time. Oh, one more thing. Cup holders. Ready? One, two. On the other side, one, two, one, two. So we got a total of six cup holders up front. And then in the back, we got cup holder, cup holder, Cup holder, cup holder. So another four in the back. So we have a total of, I'm holding the camera so I don't do it, 10, 10, in, <laughs> just picture it's 10, uh, 10 cup holders in this truck. Americans, we love our cup holders and uh, it's awesome because sometimes I have a coffee and a bottle of water and then a backup bottle of water and, you know, just having it all within reach, not bouncing around. These seats, um, these sides are really low. Anytime you put anything on the seat that moves, uh, whether you take a turn or hit the gas or whatever, it's gonna come right down here and it's gonna roll down here in between the door, uh, in between the door and the seat. So it's a pain in the butt. This also has the electronic seats on both sides. You can adjust with the lumbar and everything, which is awesome. So I really think that this truck, once the Tesla truck releases, it's gonna look like a rotary phone and a iPhone 11 Pro side by side. Um, I think it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be aerodynamic. It's going to be fast and it's going to be way more capable with this truck, especially with the air suspension and all that. So, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up and go inside because I'm freezing. But today is, I probably said this already in the video, but today is the day before the Tesla truck launch. It is November 20th. The uh, Tesla Cybertruck launch is tomorrow. So I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys this thing um, and talk about my predictions like I did earlier in the video. And uh, I'm gonna sign off. So this is really fun. We're gonna have lots more to do on this channel. Lots of stuff to cover, lots of comparisons. I'm really excited to be getting this started. I've been excited about this truck ever since they first announced it because I love Tesla. I love the idea of electronic vehicles. Uh, you know, it's like an iPhone on wheels basically, which is great, but I have to pull my trailer and I don't want to have two vehicles. I don't want to have my truck and a car. I've done the two vehicle thing. And unless you are a bajillionaire, it is kind of a pain in the butt. Two registrations, uh, maintaining and just keeping two vehicles on the road uh, is kind of a bummer. So I love driving the truck as my daily driver anyway. So Tesla truck is going to be where it's at. Elon is the man. I love watching all his stuff, all his videos. Super excited for the launch tomorrow, and it's going to be killer. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll be back here with another video after the launch tomorrow. So peace out, guys. See you later.